Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys some of the things that I've been really enjoying using in these summer months. Um, honestly, I plan to use these things all year round. They're not really particularly summer items, but I really wanted to do this video and share them with you guys. So I hope you enjoy. Let's get right into it. So the first item I've been using a ton and loving is this rose water mist that I got from a bulk store in Ventura. You guys probably saw it if you watched my, um, what video was that? Uh, Big Sur traveling video. I shared it in that. And that was the first time that I'd ever gone to that bulk store. It's a little bit far away from my house, but I really want to go back. I'm thinking about making a trip back there in November for my birthday because there's a ton of other really cute thrift stores and stores around that area in downtown Ventura. But yeah, I love the concept of this store. They had tons of organic home and bath products and you just filled up your container. You could either buy them there like I did here or you could bring your own container. I think they were like a dollar and some change per ounce. Um, so yeah, this was like four or five dollars and I, if you buy rose water, organic rose water, at Whole Foods or whatever, it's usually a lot more and it's in plastic. So I love that I got this container, I could reuse it, and it's just so refreshing, it smells so good. Um, another cool thing about that store that I went to is that you can infuse your products with essential oils that they have there, and that's all included in that dollar, I wanna say dollar seventy, dollar fifty price range. The next product that I've been using a ton and loving is actually this Bee Magic All-in-One Healing Skin Cream. So I've been using this actually on my face and what I do with it, it's my nighttime moisturizer. I'll put a little bit in my hand and then I'll put a drop of frankincense essential oil or lavender essential oil and then rub it together and just put it on my face and on my neck. And I really love it because it's kind of a multi-purpose product and that's kind of where I've been going you know in my beauty routine and kind of just like personal care routine is I love products that have multiple uses so that rose water spray is an example of one and then this stuff as well so you can use this just on any dry skin but I love infusing it with the essential oil because then you get the really moisturizing benefits of all the great ingredients in here as well as all the added benefits that the essential oils bring. So I love that I can use this as a base and then mix up the essential oil blend depending upon what my skin is needing at that time. And so yeah, this stuff's been really great and honestly, I got this in December and I had I just kind of had it packed away and then in my decluttering process that I kind of went through in the last couple months, I found it again and I've been using it regularly and there's still so much of it. So you really only need a tiny bit and yeah, I just love this stuff. My next favorite is something, again, that I bought back in December and found as I was kind of getting rid of stuff in the last couple of months and it's this Mr. Kate ear cuff. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I have a cutaway shot too. Um, so it's just a little cuff and it clips onto your ear and I just love it. I think it's a great way to just kind of add a little bit of interest to an outfit. I have two of them. I have the silver one and the gold one and I like to wear them stacked because they are so thin. I feel like wearing them stacked kind of is a fun little um, statement. And yeah, they're just really fun. They don't hurt or really pinch at all. And I've never had any problems with them falling off or anything. So yeah, I've been really enjoying those over the past couple summer months. So the next favorite that I want to share with you guys is actually a book. And it's this book called Zero Waste Home by B. Johnson. And I've been really inspired by B. recently. So kind of the story about her is that she has a family of four and they don't produce any trash because they shop in the bulk section of their grocery store and at the farmer's market and they make all of their own cleaning products and personal care products and some people might think that they're a little extreme but i think she's really cool i don't know i'm really inspired by her and i am far from living a zero waste lifestyle but i think her book is really encouraging because there's a ton of just little things that you can do if you're interested in reducing your plastic waste and your trash because we all, I mean I, produce so much trash and I feel like little changes are so cool because you don't have to make huge changes to make a difference. So 
I've been really liking her um, cleaning recipes and I really like her tips on camping and traveling and not producing a lot of trash while you do those things. So Nick and I have been using her tips on um, kind of like shopping at the grocery store in a zero waste way and again traveling. We've been doing our best to just you know think about what we're buying when we're going on these trips so that we don't have to create a lot of trash and it's honestly not been that difficult and it's been really cool. Another favorite that I'm going to share with you guys that kind of ties back to that book is, how do you say this, Le Parfait glass jars. They're French and I actually picked up a bunch of these at um, HomeGoods, but these are the jars that B uses um, to store food and to even get stuff from the grocery store. And yeah, so I just really like how the lid is attached in these jars because I've been using mason jars for years, but the lids can tend to get um, kind of rusted on those and you can buy plastic ones too. But I just really like how these are attached because then you never lose them and they're just super easy for food storage. I take my lunch in these. So there's a really cute video on YouTube about how they're made and I'll link that down below because I saw it and I really liked it. So yeah, there you go. And my last favorite is a YouTuber and I've been watching this guy for several years now. Again, I don't really remember how I came across his channel, but I really enjoy watching his videos and his name is Casey Neistat. I'm sure you guys have heard of him before. He does daily vlogs now that are really cool, but I really enjoyed his, I mean, I love his daily vlogs too and his little baby is so cute, but um, he has really cool kind of like inspiring older videos too. Some of them that I can think of that I really liked were the ones that he did with Nike about doing more and traveling. And then there's one kind of random one about um, him making Thanksgiving dinner for his family. And it's so funny and he just has the coolest way of filming his videos. And yeah, I think you guys should definitely check him out if you haven't heard of him or seen his videos before. They're really, really cool. So yeah, there you go. So be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And let me know in the comments what you guys are going to be doing for Labor Day weekend. Nick and I are going to be at the Travco, eating out of glass jars, doing our thing. So let me know what you guys are doing. And also, I'm on Snapchat and I'm definitely going to be snapping. Is it snapping? Do you snap? Snapping at the Travco. And yeah, that's been really fun too, so make sure you follow me on Snapchat and Instagram too if you want all those updates. And one more little update that I wanted to share with you guys. I don't know if you've noticed that I haven't been really doing DIY home stuff on this channel or really showing our apartment on Instagram, and that's because we moved. So. Nick and I moved out of our little apartment back in June and honestly I didn't share it on this channel because June was a crazy month for me for a number of reasons but yeah I just thought I'd share with you guys that that's what happened so um, we're staying with some family right now until we decide where we're gonna move next and honestly it's been really nice to be close to family and just have this little kind of transitional period together so there's that, in case you're wondering. Another thing is, I'm so glad that I read Marie Kondo's book about decluttering before we moved because it's made this process just that much easier. So definitely read her book if you haven't. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in September. Bye!